what a sight to behold. Now, talking about playing up your strengths, that's what you just saw. Now, you know how they say life is full of ebbs and flows? Well, here is an example and it starts with a question. Why will a parent give out an underage daughter for marriage? Most times to men old enough to be their fathers. Mothers and the girl child who are victims of child marriages are crying out against such practices as they don't want their children to suffer the pain of their past. Now, Mercy Frank is here to put this in perspective. Those ladies in hijab are gathered here not to perform their usual religious rites. And they are here to learn about the harmful effects of child marriage. Now, there is no better place to bring about this discussion than a community in Idiaraba, a northern settlement here in Lagos, where there are highly reported cases of child marriage. <laughs> child marriage has destroyed the childhood of more than 700 women all over the world. Bringing it home, reports put this figure at 23 million and counting. Now, these women got married before the age of 15. And this practice opens them to terrible situations, which most of them suffer from as they grow old. And tired of the pain, they speak out. Her one was forced to marry a man old enough to be a dad. She suffered domestic violence, divorced and remarried twice against her will. She blames it all on a lack of education and cried when the same fate befell one of her daughters. Section 23 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria says, quote, A person under the age of 18 is incapable of contracting a valid marriage, end quote. Yet, Section 29, subsection 4b, which says, any woman who is married shall be deemed to be of full age is contradictory. It's very sad and those are one of the things that we are crying out to the government that they should look at that constitution and they should review it. It is very sickening. There are no benefits to child marriage. Look at so many child marriages. Look at what else. Look at the disastrous effects that it has brought into the um, uh, community. The fact that the, the, they grow, the next thing they kill their husband or the level of divorce. In, uh, why would a nine-year-old girl be given to a 75-year-old man? Some of the girls in the community who were saved from the pain can't but express gratitude. I feel happy at least. Um, <laughs> at least um, I, I know more. I now called my mother on the phone. She's in Lagos. She told that I want to get married. My mother quickly come and pick me up. She put me in school. This is the school I attend, Muchi Community Senior High School. So I start from junior school. Rich senior, I'm graduate now. Thank God I went to school of nurses. Now I'm proud, I'm a nurse now. Since it takes to the tango, the men, just a few of them who showed up, have become advocates too. My daughter now, she's in SS3 now. I want her to finish, she's finished. I want her to continue her education. These advocates suggest that a law making child marriage illegal should be enacted and enforced, as that might curb the practice. Mercy Frank, reporting for Perspectives in Lagos.